Hey guys, hello and welcome to Zen Innovations and welcome to my Monday vlogs which are the English vlogs and today I am going to give my setup tour and here is how the setup looks and this is where the magic happens, this is where I edit my video, this is my gaming PC, this is what I use to run my YouTube channel. So let's check the cabinet first and this cabinet by the way was hand modified in 2006. So all the idea, all the theme is from 2006 and these are handmade stencils which I have done and over to the front you can see the look. By the way in regular USB 2.0 ports so no USB 3 here and this black thing is a hard drive by the way yes right. So to the front there is another floral decal and some red lights which I have installed and the very very proud AMD FX Black Edition sticker. It was something to be proud back then. And over to the top we have this flower here and you know when you have both of these together so you have the positive and the negative side of this decal meant that you actually had 100% accuracy which means that you did not throw anything away and you have both the pieces without any joints or cuts that's that. And by the way, what is here? So if you were born in the early 90s or let's say 80s, you might be remembering what this window is here for. There used to be a thing known as an optical drive or a CD drive. And that is what I had here. And even that CD drive was modified using the acrylic plexiglass so that when you put the CD in, you could see its pin and you could see the motors work and all kinds of cool stuff inside it. Maybe in the corner somewhere I'll put an image so that you can see how it used to look but today of course no one is using the CD so it's not there just an empty window and you can see my hard drive which is mounted below. Over to this side again yeah the power button is on one side a little awkward but yeah that is what 2006 uh, fashion was and uh, these LEDs were red I have modified them to white and so Here's how the cabinet looks once again. Coming over to this place, I have this hand cut window and I have used acrylic. By the way, these flowers used to glow, but this kind of damage, actually believe me, this is electrical damage and this seems to happen with uh, acrylic where you have high uh, current, high high amount of energy flowing near it. So can someone, if uh, someone can explain me about this, do let me know in comments below. So the acrylic has these spots over a few years. So it does not happen overnight. It takes at least around 10 years for that to happen. And here is how the PC looks. Here are the internal components. The specifications will be there on the screen for you to see. So by today's standards, yeah, I know it's pretty old, but the old champ is helping me run my YouTube channel. So I guess, yeah, it's pretty good. Over here, I have my Creative 2.1 speaker set. So this was brought in 2006 and you can calculate how old it was. And by the way, the model number is Creative Inspire 2.1 and this is what uh, started the 2.1 race in India and and this is what introduced us to some decent sound back then. So there was an, another brand known as Mercury. Yes, anyone remembers Mercury? So if you did not have the budget for creative, you simply buy Mercury. But yeah, if you had the money, then you go for the creative 2.1. Now I have already announced these ones. The link for uh, uh, DIY will be in the description below so you can check it out. And I have strengthened this uh, speaker using additional heat sinks and insulations and whatnot. So you can check that out. By the way, very cute, very nice and very sweet sounding set, the Creative 2.1. And over here, actually how much does this weigh? At least half a kilo. So there is a reason these things were known as power bricks. Yeah, it's actually a brick, half a kg brick. So that is what. Coming to the front again, I have my cell phone, a Microsoft basic mouse. By the way, this mouse pad is from 486. If someone remembers a 486, give me a like. 
and here is my Amket multimedia keyboard which is a pretty good multimedia keyboard if you are short on budget and by the way review for this unit will be up soon so make sure you subscribe to this channel and you will be able to check the review now coming over here I have a power meter hooked up and the numbers are pretty dynamic so when doing menial tasks or when simply idling just uploading a YouTube video or browsing the internet the power consumption is somewhere around 90 to 100 watts and when it is say gaming or rendering a video the power consumption goes all the way to around 200 to maybe 220 watts and over here I have the display which is nothing but a 40 inch full HD LED TV and it's pretty good for editing videos when you are working with 5-6 tracks at once and you need to have all the information on the screen and all the filters and effects and everything all at once so that's that and here is the another creative speaker from the 2.1 set and here is my primary laptop so this is an HP 15 inch laptop with an AMD A8 processor and here is how the setup looks from afar once again I hope you are liking these Monday vlogs and to get notified hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon See you again guys, have a nice day and take care.